So I was just coming home from the store because that's what the most boring lady in the world does. Like I just go to the store and I buy soap and then I come back, right? Well, anyway, um, so Madonna comes on the radio. So this time they played Like a Virgin. And I was listening to that and I'm like, you know what? This is a really good song. Like this sounds good. Her voice sounds good. Her vocal quality is good. Like she sounds like vampy, you know, she sounds a little vampy. She's like, like a virgin. Hey, and even just the concept, you know, like you're with this guy and like, maybe you're like a washed up old hoe. <laughs> but, you know, like now, like he just makes you feel so good. Like he's so good at what he does that you feel like a virgin, right? Like you're like a virgin touched for the very first time, right? Like those are good lyrics. You know, and in the 80s, that was very racy. Um, you know, that song came out, I think, when I was in high school. And, you know, it was like, oh, my God. And then by the time I was a senior in high school, I was still a virgin. And uh, we went to go see Madonna in concert, you know. And it was like that song was kind of like one of the big highlights of her show. It would have been no sweat now, but because it was the 80s, it was like racy. It was like a special, it was a special different kind of a take on the song. It was slower and um, this whole scene, she had a boudoir, like she had some lounges, like she had couches and, you know, soft pillows and sheer things, something, something like that. I don't really remember, but she had her boudoir like up on the stage and then she started theatrically, like she was singing the song and then she was like, what to say like this is a mixed audience but you know she was basically like well, my, 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 my. <laughs> like she was miming like like doing that you know and it was like, <gasps> like i was there with my friend deb you know and we were just like these you know nerds who um were in the drama club and stuff but we weren't that dramatic like in real life so uh it was like wow you know like first she has like the, the first half of the show madonna has like her pointy bra on because it was like the um blonde ambition tour i think or something and so she had her cone bra so she had those going and then you know for her for big like the, the climax of the show if you will um she comes out on these pillows and she's like pretending to like you know have fun with herself for like a virgin and that was crazy like for the 80s that was like wow oh my god like what's what's madonna gonna do next i guess later on she came out with that song um justify my love which when i listen to that now like i just i'm like yeah whatever like i changed the channel i don't even really like the song but it, it's not even it just sounds so um put on you know, so it's just funny. It's just funny how times have changed. Like, what would Madonna of the 80s think of, you know, Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B? Like, if she only knew what was coming, man. So, that's, uh, anyway, Like a Virgin is still actually a very good song. Like a virgin. Hey! I like it. It's good. It's catchy. It's good. It's one of her better tunes. I don't really listen to Madonna now. Like when I was 16 and 17, I was like, yeah, Madonna. I'm like, no, I would, I would not really listen to Madonna for, for very long other than like as a novelty, but you know, Hey, she's Madonna. She's got a lot of fans. Thanks for listening to the most boring lady in the world. Like subscribe or leave a comment. If you want to talk about Madonna. Bye.